Hello again, I'm Lock Noob, and as some of you already are aware, I pick locks. One of my other passions, however, is console gaming. Recently, I've been enjoying some super family-friendly games of Dead Island 2, and as part of some of the missions, you have to solve puzzles involving locating circuit breakers, or more specifically, parts of a large circuit breaker cabinet. You use these to plug into place, presumably completing a circuit and allowing a door or gate or toaster oven or whatever to work. Let's have a look at one of these circuit breakers from within the game. There's a panel of four circuit breaker switches in a housing, one of which has a lockout adapter and a lockout padlock attached to the main breaker switch, keeping it, fortunately for the protagonist, in the on position. This is in itself strange since these padlocks are usually used to secure electronic equipment during repair and service in the off position, obviously. It's worth noting that aside from the scale being slightly off all round, that this is a pretty accurate rendering of a padlock and breaker box for a computer game. Weirdly, all the breaker panels in the game are tagged as main photovoltaic system disconnect, no matter the location. Being a massive lock nerd, I wanted to see if I could identify the lock being used. The model they are using is squashed a little vertically and there are too many brands making yellow lockout locks to be sure, but I'm going to make the assumption that they modeled this lock on the extremely common Master Lock 410. Note, I went for the bare metal shackle and not the plastic shrouded one as seen in the game, as this allows me to fit the padlock into the red Master Lock lockout adapter in the configuration shown in game. For fun, I wanted to see if I could pick this off a breaker box as it appears in the game, so I found a similar size set of circuit breakers and attached the lock as close as I could to what's seen in game. Clearly, don't ever tamper with safety locks in real life, or you may literally be in for a shock. Let's get picking. So I have my circuit breaker box with the rightmost circuit breaker locked out in the on position, which is very strange, which means I can't move that switch down. I've got my lockout lock as per the game. And to pick this, I have a medium hook and a top of the keyway tension tool. So let's give this one a go. So lock, turning tool, take our hook and we're going to go in and just see which pins are binding. Pin four is binding here. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just press this up and hopefully we'll get a little click out of that. There we go, back through. Nothing on two, nothing on one. To the back still, pin five, pin four, pin three now, little click. Back through, back through, nothing. Pin six is binding at the back, little click and into a false set. Pin five here, bit of counter rotation. And that feels good. Pin four, nothing. Three is binding now. So I just need to see if I can get that to set. No, no, no. Okay, so gone into a deeper full set now. Pin three here, and we managed to pick that really nicely. Pin one now, and that's all picked. So I think we're on our final pin which is pin oh, four, and we should be able to, even though my turning tool has just jumped out, turn this no further than this position, and we are open, which means that we can now remove this from the uh, lockout adapter, pop that open, unscrew it. That will slide off and then we can have it on or off as we wish. I hope you enjoyed that. I would love to make this a mini series. So if you've ever recognized a prominent lock in a film or game, especially one that's being picked, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can recreate the scene for real. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content and think I deserve it, please consider subscribing as it really helps my channel out. So see you all next time.